good morning it's the 26th of june saturday um i'm up i'm dressed i'm wearing makeup just for the sheer fact that i felt like it um no plans for today i wouldn't mind going into town and my parents are going away again tomorrow so this might be a week long vlog i've got two days off during the week so if it isn't a week vlog it will definitely be a weekend and those two days so let's just see what happens uh, i've got this new t-shirt on that was from primark new earrings from new look i'm even wearing my new sandals they're not that comfortable hopefully i can break them in we'll see we'll see what happens it's about half past eight now um i don't really film much today but we went to town got some books from a charity shop which i'll try and remember to show you tomorrow um and I sort of set out for it, I've just, but I've just been too hot. So I've been reading, trying to read my book. Um, I'm reading this week, The Real Katie Lavender. I feel like I might have read it before. Um, but it's about a girl who, his mum passes away and then a year later she gets called to a solicitor's and finds out her dad wasn't a biological dad and she's inherited some money or coming to a trust fund and it's about her finding finding him and stuff like that <coughs> um yeah I definitely feel like I've read it before but it could be because this sort of genre of book there is like a much of a muchness to them which again sounds quite negative but it's not I like this sort these sorts of books um I just like books Hello and welcome to Sunday morning, uh, Sunday afternoon, it's quarter to one, my parents have just gone on holiday to London, no they've literally just driven off, um, they're there for the week, they should have been going to Whitby but the hotel they've booked, had got some really, really shocking reviews this week, things like, um, check-ins not till three but people weren't allowed in till five and the bathrooms were still, hadn't been cleaned and things like that. Um, so they looked for other places in Whitby but it was fairly booked up and they found a hotel in Landudno that's about the same price for two extra nights. I'm assuming they've paid more but I don't, they didn't tell me, I'm not really that bothered. Um, I've just ordered a cheeky McDonald's. I am thinking about going to town but it's about another 50 minutes till the next bus because they're only once an hour around here. I don't know but then I went in town yesterday, I didn't really get anything. Um I've got some stuff I need to take back to Sainsbury's but I'm not there's no real rush to do that is there? I'm sure you get at least two weeks if not a month. Um and I've just started a McDonald's. I've been really, really fancying um chicken nuggets. So I've just started two happy meals. Um, a chicken nugget one, yeah, four chicken nuggets and a ha um, hamburger, cheeseburger. I'm not sure what which one I ordered actually. Um, some mozzarella dippers, and I was going to order a flurry to put it in the freezer for later, and I completely forgot. But never mind. It's not the end of the world. Uh, so yeah, that's my exciting Sunday. I've got a wash on. I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy up a clean up um probably later i'm having a very exciting prawn salad for my tea but other than that there's not a lot else to report i'm gonna go and reheat my brew i made it and then i went for a shower and then i was faffing about so i'm gonna go sit that in the microwave and wait for my happy meals to arrive i can't remember the last time i made a happy meal it's definitely as an adult I don't know when.
third attempt at filming this and now I don't actually have everything that I like to show you but it's fine I'm, I'm just speaking for this because the last two clips were over 10 minutes long and I'm not sure that I don't want to wash it on so you might be able to hear that <coughs> um, I just, when I went in town I didn't film very much because I bought a lot of heavy things so in Primark I bought a hair turban um, just one of those twisty twisty things and it's got Mickey and Minnie on it I do already have a couple of similar things but I'm going away soon um, and this looks a lot smaller than what I've got I bought this clear purse and um, it's actually got a mask pouch on it which I thought that would be quite handy because <clears throat> I need to carry masks with me and if I don't use it for masks it'll be alright for bits and bobs <coughs> I got a tortoise shell glasses chain, I'm going to use my sunglasses, <coughs> some black jammer bot bottoms, nothing special, just plain back black, these were three qu uh, six quid and they've got pockets, and then I got two candles, this one I don't know what scent it is, the things fell off, but it's some sort of like lemon grassy type one, um, two wicks and I really like this hammered metal. Um, effect and then I got this other one which is in this pot these every single one was slightly different the same colors um, and this one is cedar wood and amber and this is three wicks um, and they were both five pounds then in b and I bought food so I got some sandwich meat some cottage cheese lettuce um, peaches sandwich bags, antihistamines, all that good stuff um, and then I bought a cleansing stick which this looks a bit like a roll on deodorant but it's for your face, face wash, some hair bubbles, these were only 59p for three, the goodie brand and they've got these like metal things on them. Then I bought some candles, I bought three of this size Wickford Co wedding bells and don't they just look like Yankee candles? I got three that size. I got this one, which I like to call the IKEA size, which is a raspberry ripple. And it just smells like the walls raspberry ripple soft scoop ice cream. And then I got this big bad boy, um, which is a tropical mango and lime. This smells just like Solero's. <coughs> so this one was 2 95 and it says 95 hours burn time. These little ones were 59p and this is 16 hours burn time. And this size was 99p and it doesn't have a burn time on it. But I suspect it'll be somewhere between the two. Right, I'm going to go and read my book and sit outside and enjoy what's left of sunshine. Um, I've just decided I'm going to end this here. I am going to vlog the week, but I think I'm going to do that separately. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If I remember to film a clip of my tea, which is going to be very exciting prawn salad, I will put that in here. If I did, hopefully you liked it. If not, I'm sure it was very delicious, I haven't made it yet. Um, but I just thought I'd finish off by showing you one more thing that I bought from Home Bargains and the books I got from a charity shop yesterday, which I don't think I showed you yesterday. So I'll show you them now. So we'll start off with the flowers. Um, so these, anything that looks like this that I'm touching wasn't in the bouquet. Um, but there was like the peony, these sprigs, um, things like that. But I just thought that was really cute. Um, and then I, the eucalyptus leaves are from Amazon. If you heard a click then, it was my camera screen. But I just love this little desk setup. I'm so sad when I have to go back to the office. Um, but this is my... Rock salt, Himalayan rock salt tea light holder. 
candle is from Asda and it's a Woodwick one. I don't know if I've shown you this. I know it's definitely been on my Instagram. Um, it smells amazing. At the back is an electric melter which has got rose jam scented. And then I just have my crystals and everything. But that's not what I came to show you. I came to show you books. So let me show you the books. So the first book is Heartstoppers by Alice O. Osman, don't know how to say that. Um, Boy Meets Boy Volume 1, and this is a graphic novel. Um, I don't really know much about this, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it on Instagram, and it kind of doesn't look like it's been read. Um, all these books were two for a pound, so I got four books for two pounds. So the next one is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste, I don't know how to say the name, G, it is an silent, I don't know. Um, I've read one other book and it was about twins and it was really weird but really good. Um, and I did have a copy of Little Fires Everywhere um, but I, I don't know what I did with it. Um, I'm not, I didn't even read the blurb of this, but I just kind of was like, it's thin, I want to read it. Um, I'm reading the blurb now, maybe I should do that in my own time. Then I got two Leon Moriarty books. So, Nine Perfect Strangers, now I believe this is being turned into a TV show. Um, I heard Amazon, but then I heard HBO which I think you can get as an add-on through Amazon, I'm not sure. But I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Leon Moriarty. I love books set in Australia. If you know of any really good books set in Australia, tell me about them. Um, but I've read four Leon Moriarty books. Is it Big Little Lies? Something like that. Oh, it says on the front of that one, <laughs> um, which I absolutely loved. I loved every single bit of that book. Um, and then there was The Husband's Secret, which, if I'm honest, was a pretty good book. For but I really didn't like it. Because I think I guessed The Husband's Secret before I finished page three. Um, certainly by the end of chapter one. And I just found it a little bit convenient and slightly boring. Um, another Leanne Moriarty book that I've read, I can't remember the name of. Let me just see. This book looks like it's had pages ripped out of it. Oh, Three Wishes, that was the other one. That was about triplets and that was just really, really boring. So in the front of this book it says it's Three Wishes, the last anniversary, which I don't think I've read. What Alice Forgot, The Hypnosis Love Story, I don't know about that. The Husband's Secret, which that's the one I didn't like. Three Wishes is the other one that I didn't like. That's the one about the triplets. Big Little Lies that I loved. And Truly Madly Guilty. Now, I feel like there's a second Leon Moriarty book that I really liked. But none of those sound familiar. Um, but Big Little Lies I loved. And if that had been the first book I'd read by um, Leon, I kind of would have been a bit um, annoyed about the other books. But this one sounds good, so my perfect strangers. One luxury treat in the middle of nowhere. Ten days in which no one can leave. Nine strangers seek, seeking perfection and each discovering the perfect lie. Marion Key says the plot twist blew her mind. Did it now. Did it. And then the last one um, also sounds pretty good. And this is what Alice forgot. Um, was losing her memory the best thing that ever happened to her? Let's have a look what this says. So Alice wakes up on the floor of the gym with a nasty bump on her head, thinking she's still fun-loving 29-year-old starting life with a gorgeous husband pregnant with her first baby. To her disbelief, it soon transpires the fall has knocked 10 years from her memory. She's actually an uptight 39-year-old whose idea of a good time is three-hour workout followed by committee meetings with the kind of woman she used to despise. How on earth did life come to this? And more disturbingly, how can she not remember giving birth to three children? Why does her husband suddenly hate her? And what can Alice possibly have done that means her beloved sister will barely speak to her? C 
Seeing herself through fresh eyes, Alice barely recognises or even likes the person she's become. Can she ever find her way back to the woman that she used to be? So I think that sounds really good. So that is my little charity shop haul for this weekend. I'm still doing the book budget. So, so far this month, I've only spent £2 out of 20 The month isn't over yet and I am planning on some charity shop shopping on Tuesday and slash Wednesday. So I won't end it there for the budget. And sadly, my book club is stopping. Uh, my friend who was the Usborne book rep has decided to stop it. She just doesn't have time for it at the moment. Um, and it's probably really difficult for her because obviously a lot of that would be done at like school gates with other mums and things and they're not allowed to congregate. Um, obviously you can't have like book parties or I don't know what you do but I'm assuming it's a bit like Tupperware or and Summers where you have parties and people... Oh there's a siren, that scared me. Um, buy books and, and stuff. So I can imagine it, it's probably quite difficult for her to try and get customers um but i'm gonna miss the book club i've enjoyed it i've <laughs> i've read we've done four books <clears throat> the one i really didn't like the other one was okay and i do want to read the next one in the series so it can't have been bad beauty sleep i loved i definitely would read a follow-up to that if there is one i don't know i've not looked and what was the other one the Gilded Ones. That was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. And that's got sprayed edges. <gasps> um, but yeah, I am sad the book club's finished. But what can you do? Maybe I'll try and join another book club. But in reality, I have got enough books to keep me going for about three years. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a lot longer than anticipated. And I will see you in the next one. So this is what I'm having for my tea, prawn salad, homegrown lettuce, shop bought cucumber, red onion, prawns, a thousand island and I've got a crispy bread roll to have with it. So technically I have already ended this video but I just wanted to insert that I did buy a khaki t-shirt yesterday. Um, it's from Sainsbury's. It was three quid I think. Yeah three quid. And I thought it would work quite well with that skirt. Um, in the comments, someone, Zoe, hi Zoe, um, had said about um, mustard. Now, I couldn't find a plain mustard top. But somewhere in here. I do have this stripy one. Now obviously I wouldn't wear them together but I think it I think it'd be too much having a mustard t-shirt and she also mentioned burgundy uh, but she did mention trying burgundy with it. Now I did try this one but I don't think that works either so Thank you for the suggestions. Um, I did want to just mention that I'd looked, but I got that khaki one. Um, I mean, goodness, when I'll ever wear this skirt again. Might even take it with me when I go to Tembe. Oh yeah, that's a point. I could take it when I go to Tembe, couldn't I? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that I bought that yesterday. And thank you very much for the suggestions. It is appreciated because it is very hard to decide what to wear with stuff. Um, I don't think I put a picture on here, but I did end up wearing it with a black v-neck vest top. I'll try and insert a picture of what it looked like. Um, I didn't, didn't get one standing up, but I'll find something. Right, I'm going now. I will um, start vlogging. Mm -hmm.